Hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Project 944. Today we're going to be uh, doing uh, another mod to the Silverado. Uh, today we're going to be installing trailer brake controller. Um, I uh, for this trailer brake controller, I ended up going with the uh, Tekonsha uh, Tekken. I don't, really don't know how to pronounce the brand name. Uh, the Primus IQ. I've had uh, another trailer brake controller by the same brand. Um, really enjoyed it. Um, so I decided to go ahead and go with the same brand again. In no way is this sponsored or anything. I just like the pro I like the company. I bought from them before, so I bought one again. Um, so we'll be installing this trailer brake controller, and also I've got the wiring harness. So there's going to be no need for cutting, splicing, uh, soldering, or anything like that for the wiring job. So uh, with that being said, let's get to it. All right, so here we are in the truck. Um, we're going to go ahead and start by opening up the box, getting our trailer controller out, and everything we're going to need. So uh, the, the trailer controller itself comes with a wiring harness. That way, um, I, I know my truck came with the other end of the wiring harness. That way, you can splice together the wiring. Um, again, in this case, I bought the wiring harness. There's no need to do that. Got some screws, one bracket, and then the actual controller itself with the other style bracket, the quick release uh, bracket. I think today we're going to be going with the uh, the quick release bracket, but I'm going to kind of hook it in place and kind of see, double check. Um, this is pretty nice though; makes it easy. You can take on take the controller on and off. That way, if you don't want it there, it's not there anymore. Um, then. We open this up, and here's our wiring harness. This thing connects up to the truck. This thing connects up to the controller. Easy enough. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, get down in the footwell. Uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so here we are down the uh, driver's side footwell of the truck. You see uh, accelerator pedal, brake pedal. Big first thing we want to get into is this box right here. This box is where the uh, connection for the trailer brake controller goes to. Maybe. There are three tabs on it. It'd be easy to get this one first. There we go. One on the uh, left side and two on the right side here. Once they're disconnected, the cover just pops out of the way. Then we can take our wiring harness right here, take the white side. It's going to uh, orient, basically, if you look at this is how it's set up, orients in that way. Goes right up here on this left side, right in the middle. Plugs in, and that's it. Easy enough. Then what we do is we can take our cover back, and what you want to do is run this wire up, because the uh, top of this box, as you can see, top is open, so the wiring can go up and out of the way without having any issues. In. We just make sure all three tabs go back in place, and that's that for now. Now we will zip tie this all up out of the way once we figure out our final mounting location. Next, we take our quick release bracket, and I think the best place to put it is going to end up being right about there. Big thing I want to check though is if I use this bracket how well it will work for our curtain setup. Because you want to try to have, the, have it as level as possible. I know you don't want it this way. Uh, this is uh, inertia based, so they say you want it pretty level. So that's pretty close. Big thing too is you want it out of the way of your knee and everything while you're driving. Okay, so I just con uh, consulted the instruction manual. And pretty much it says as long as it's mounted from anywhere from here to there, it's okay. They just want to make sure it's not off this way. So we're going to mount it right about like that. First things first, we're going to find, get our bracket here. And the little screw bolts it came with are a uh, quarter drive. Uh, quarter drive socket and also quarter drive the size. So, pretty much we're just going to find the spot we want. And 
I'm just gonna screw one of these in. as level as we can. Then we're going to grab our other little screw. And in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just pop it in. I'm just going to make a nice mark in it. That's marked. I'm going to start it. That way we'll know we'll get it good and solid. Now that we're started, basically just gonna screw this in until it's tight. Okay, that's not gonna go anywhere. Now what we do? Pick our controller here. I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drop it right about there. Perfect. Then we just take our plug and our handy plug in the back. Find where it plugs in and plug it in. And that is that. You can see there are two little lights on. And in theory, I'm gonna turn the key on. There we go, it's as easy as that. Try the brake controllers in. Um, all that's left is I'm just gonna take some zip ties, uh, basically get this wiring up and out of the way so uh, it doesn't get in the way of my feet. And that's it. Okay, and that, that wraps it up. I mean, uh, try the brake controller install on these trucks. Is, they made it really simple, really easy. Um, if you have any questions about uh, anything I did or anything, how to set anything up, uh, just give a comment and I'll do my best to help you out. Uh, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, give it a like, uh, subscribe, and have a great day.